Welcome back to MTG, Mr. Wizard. He's the Mr. Hi. I'm the Mrs. So, we're going to play another round of Blood Rush mm -hmm. and Azorius Mentor. Oh, we're rolling those. That You got three? Those are beautiful dice. Oh, yeah, you win. I win. Eight. Yep. Good job, honey. Yep. So as you see, we're our life counter, we're using Life Tap. It's an app. We have no promo affiliation, but it's the one we like, and you can customize it to whatever you're playing, to whomever you're playing. Um, I've had it where I've had, uh, we go to tournaments, and I'll have myself, and then I'll put, not myself, like, or whatever, you know, my name, and um, it always works. So let's try this again. Good luck, honey. Hey, baby. Good luck to you as well. Thanks. Now, house rules are in the event you need to mulligan, you still pull seven. That's just common courtesy house rules. Holy snike balls. Not a single creature. Honey. Wow. Let me, um, do this before I shuffle again. I want to make sure these lands are broken up so I have a chance possibly of getting them nether hand. I will definitely, you know, shuffle, but I just want to make sure they're mixed in. Those are great cards. I want to use them. Just not all my damn lands in the first hand. I think this is just so I can show you the mulligan rule for the house. Mm. And that's what mm -hmm. it is. The idea behind this is when you're learning a new deck, you want to constantly view what would be the best hand to keep instead of trying to narrow down by losing the card every time you don't get the combo that you're looking for. You it, want to, it you helps you prioritize what you should keep and what you shouldn't keep when you do a real game in paper. You know, make sure you have a couple lands. You know, if you have dual lands, that's fantastic. You want to make sure you have, um, you try to get the minimum of your colors. So for this is a is a blue-white deck, so I want at least, I would say a minimum of two to three lands, because I have some one drop, two drops, and I think most of my creatures are three or less. So if I have enough mana to bring out a creature, that's what's important. Um, if you have some sorceries and spells, that's better. Um, but you don't want to start with junk and five lands and whatever. So we're going to try it again. Let's see if I can go for seven lands this time. Just kidding. That would be awful. I know. Flooded. Well, this is not what we want, but I think... With that and that, it is actually possible to keep. So let's do that. I had a roll. Okay, so I'm going to put this in. Okay, so I'm going to go do a damage to myself. And I'm going to do sleight of hand. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put them in your hand. Put one in your hand and the other at the bottom of your library. I think this is the most important. That's a fantastic one. Fantastic. But that is the need. So we're going to do this. Where are we going to do that? And go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and draw. Then we're gonna go uh, an epic oil slicked swamp and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiny Bones Pickpocket. Oh no, Death That's Touch. Tough. When Tiny Bone Pickpocket, oh, okay. Uh, deals combat damage to a player. You may cast target non land permanent card from your player's graveyard. That's not good with Blood Rush. 
Um, and mana of any type can be spent to cast this spell. See, he's eyeballing my sleight of hand, people. Mm -hmm. He is eyeballing my sleight of hand. All right, and I pass the turn. Oh, we need to get that shit out of there. Quick like. Okay, so. I need to find a way to give him first strike. Let's not do that. Let's go here. And pass turn. Okay. Tap, draw. Gonna go land for turn. Ledmar. Swing for one. Um, Ty, uh, Bones sees your spell. I have the choice to use it. I have no mana, so I won't cast it, so I'll leave it there for the next time when I can. Um, since it's targeting your graveyard, he sees it and gets a counter. Okay. Pass the turn. All righty. Go here. We're going to tap it all. We're going to temporary lockdown so he can't take my stuff. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we're going to put that right there. And this goes on top. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All done? I have no more mana to do anything, right. so I think the answer is yes. All right, let's do this draw. All right. So, uh, land for turn. And, uh, Gigs, pass. Nice. Land for turn. All right. I'm gonna do this. Color this in a blue. We're gonna draw two cards, discard a card unless you attack to the creature. So we are going to Discard a card. We are going to tap one for helping hand. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring our gin back. <clears throat> right now, we have three in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put a three on him for right now. I'm gonna move him right there because that way I don't have to worry about it. All right. Um, he does not have haste, but he is a three, currently a three four. And that is turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. All right. We're going to go uh, one mana. Tiny Bones joins up. Okay, Tiny Bones joins up is different from Tiny Bones Pickpocket. So when Tiny uh, Tiny Bones joins up, enters the battlefield, any number of target players each discard a card. I hate this card. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, any number of target players each mill a card and lose a life. This really sucks for me because in his hand, he has Bloodletter. He has Shieldred. Those are both legendary. And if he has another Gix, he can go and kill his Gix under legendary rule and bring it up. So that's a good three cards that he may have in his hand. Then on top of that, he's probably got an Insatiable Avarice, or he has... Um... Let me just... Uh, nope. You... Put that out there. Where's your mana? Right here. Okay. This is for the spell. Okay, so this that's the other Vad. Uh, Vadmir. There's the legendary. That is a legendary. I did not think of that one as a legendary. Okay. So you get both triggers. Okay. So each, I discard two, huh? If I only had more mana. Enchantment. Creature. <laughs> so just got a card. And since you look great, there you came in. I understand that. I'm making a choice. Okay. Well, you only mill a card. You don't have to discard another card from your hand. Oh, I have to mill a card? Yeah. So that card that you just drew goes into the graveyard. Okay. And then you lose one life. Two, three, Which four. Which I guess that kind of helps you. It kind of does, actually, now that you mention yeah. it. I lose a life. In that case, I'll do that one, and I'll gain this one up to a five. Oh, okay. So this could backfire for you. 
Oh, yeah, because I had to discard two, right? Uh, discard one. No, if it... You discard one and you... If know. discard, right. Oh, okay, so I get to keep this. Uh -huh. It goes back to a four. Okay. All right, now you know that's there. <laughs> Surprise! It's a blue. Okay. It's... Okay, pass the turn. <laughs> it's not a boy, it's a blue. That's my boy, blue. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> hey, I made mistakes. You make mistakes. We're human. That's right, what happens. Right. Just both, I just want to both just learning these decks. So. Okay. I just want to make sure. So I currently have four there and one creature. Just mathing it, because the enchantment here is not in the graveyard, so it does not count for this that I'm aware of. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, somebody please let me know. This counts only instants and sorceries. It wouldn't count an enchant. Okay. Or a creature. Oh, looky there, you already fixed my, my question. All right, so if I swing for four, if I swing for four, you might try to kill it. None of them have the power, but it is in the air. Yeah, I think I'm gonna swing for four. So there are four instants and sorcerers in your graveyard? Yes, that's all there is. I only have one enchantment in the deck, and that's locked down. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that four. One, two, three, four. And Dream time not to cheat. I swear. Draw. Um, and we are stuck. Okay. We're going to go ahead and swing. Three, six? Yes. I'll take the six. Okay. Okay, so as a result of uh, you taking the six, okay. whenever a creature deals combat damage to a, an opponent, its controller may pay one life if they do draw a card. So I'm gonna, they, it triggers twice, I'm gonna pay two life and draw two cards, okay? And then, um, since, uh, opponents. well, no, that's not a crime, I guess. Yeah, with the new triggers with the crime and plot and things are a little different. And it's kind of interesting and unique in its own dynamic. Okay. So, you took the six. I drew two cards. I'm going to play my land for turn. And then I'm going to play... Well, that are... Oh, Erga Burga. A uh, legendary, uh, oh, he's not legendary, so we don't have to worry about that. If an opponent would lose life during this turn, they lose twice that in life. Okay. And yeah, pass the turn. Hmm. Hmm, she says. Hmm. But I now have. Oh, actually, flying no. Water. I'm going to negate, uh, oh, that's an on creature spell. Fart knockers. So, mm -hmm. I'm just going to untap and just shut the hell up a minute. Because mm -hmm, I screwed up. Okay. Okay. Land for turn. That is a two four. That's still a four. If I swing with this, he'll kill it. If I swing for this in the air, it's four damage, four damage. I could kill it, but he'll take the damage because he wants to go and get blood rush, or he wants to get Rush of Dread out. So these are things you gotta think about. I mean, knowing your player's hand is important, and this one here is, um, if he gets that, or if he gets the Insatiable Avarice, he can go look for his, his blood rush. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pass turn, and I'm not gonna swing. You tilt your head back the other way. Okay. All right, so you're not going to swing? No. Okay. So uh, are you done casting spells though? I have nothing. Okay. So I'm going to untap, go, go to my turn, untap, draw. I'm going to put both there up on the battlefield so he doesn't look like he has some sickness anymore. And, okay.
makes me want to rewind the video to see what he had. Okay. I swear I didn't look. I had so, no clue. <clears throat> I'm going to pay four. And since uh, the legend, legend rule doesn't apply because it's not legendary, I'm going to put out another blood letter of Aquilons. <sighs> that means I would lose my entire twice, four times the amount of life. So if he did 10 damage to me, twice is 20. Now that would suck. And I'm only at 11 life, so he really only has to do six damage to me with that card. Okay, so this is a math thing. Or those thing. cards together. This is a math thing that we don't encounter very often in Magic because Magic doesn't produce a lot of cards that are called multipliers. That is what this is. So when I do damage with uh, Gix, it will do the three damage from its base power and toughness, and then it will double because of Blood Letter, causing it to do six. Then it will see the six damage that's being done by the second Blood Letter, and it will double again, me making Gix do 12 damage. The same will happen with Vladimir. And the same will happen with Blood Letter as they all three attack. So what's your math? So the math works out like Actually, this. Actually. They are all two twos two, two, two except two. for that. So the math here is Is times. that a two two or is that a three two? So hang on, hang on. So Gix is times two from the first Blood Letter, making it six. Okay. Times two again from the second Blood Letter at six, making it 12. So that's 12. Then we go here. Two is its base power and toughness. Doubles by the first blood letter, making it four. Then it sees the other blood letter, causing it to double from four to eight. I'm going to block Gix, so take that math out. Okay. I will lose my monastery uh, mentor. So I will take, what's my math? So this is gonna be eight, and this is gonna be eight. Now, is it, why do you have a dice on here? Oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, this is it's one. Oh, time. that's a crime. So that's actually three. Okay. So it would be three, three. That's six. Six, and then six times two equals twelve. So that's 12 game from here. And okay. oh, actually, non-creature spell, fart knocker. See, I can't even use it in the game. Okay. All right, he got me, guys. Good job, honey. You tried. I tried, man. I tried. I tried so hard. Didn't work. He kicked my butt with the blood letter. All right, until next time. Bye, guys.